Hello guys, welcome to the channel MH4K. In this video, I'll be showing you how can you reduce the file size of Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So actually, normally whenever I upload my YouTube videos, I actually reduce those files using a software. And that is the trick which is I'm going to show you now. So first, let me show you the property type of the raw file. You can say it's MTS file with 1080p resolution, 852 is its size with 24 frames per second. Now I'm dragging this to the timeline so you can see actually what is the, um, I mean, what is, uh, how does it looks like? Okay, so this is the very normal, uh, sequence i'm just going to keep it very simple i'm just dragging a simple call out text over this uh, video frame and i guess you would have uh, multiple uh, frames over this uh, sequence so it doesn't matter you can just uh, edit and finalize the video however you like so this is the uh, video file of 24 frames per second and the duration is about five minutes so now i'm just going to render this so after this, you will be able to see what is the actual uh, file size after export. Okay. To export, I'm going to file, export, moving to the media and that's all. Now I'm going to name this file. And before that, let me select to the codec and I'm going to select H.264. This is the codec file, which exports uh, 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 the file with the MP4 file format. So it would be easier for me to just whenever I'll show you the comparison, when I will show you the comparison, you will be able to see what are the differences. Okay. So exporting it with the name of file file output and it's good to go. So exporting it, it would take uh, time around as according to the specification of your system. So it would take time around, uh, I don't know. So let it run. Okay. And after this, uh, the file is now reduced. So I'm going to drag the output file back again to this uh, project. So you will be able to see what is the file size now. So the file size is around uh, 378, I guess. So let me drag it to the project panel. So you would be able to see the proper details. Yes. Okay, so moving to the properties tab, you can see now the new details of the uh, video. So the details are like this still it's 1080p with 24 frames per second, but the size is but the size is reduced to 378 MB. So now if you want to re-render this again by dragging this to the timeline, you can re-render, you can re-export and you can see the output size, but the file is not going to change its uh, size because it is using the same codec information dot h264 with the same software engine so i'm going to show you the different method without losing any quality you would have the same file okay so not would it will be it will be reduced without losing any quality so moving to the magic part, this is the software called TechSmith Camtasia Studio. And this is really very, very helpful before uploading any heavy file. I usually drag all the files to this uh, software and then I render this with this software. And the demerit part you can save with this software is only you can export it with 30 and 60 frames per second. So the quality won't be compromised. You can see the details after the export and the choice is up to you if you want to upload the uh, last exported sequence by Premiere Pro or it's all up to you if you want to upload this file rendered with the Camtasia Studio. So it's all up to you. So I have exported both the files and now let me show you the comparison in Premiere Pro CC. And here we have the first output, the file output, which we have rendered at the first time and the property was like 378 MB, remember? Okay, so the 378 file size with 1080p resolution with 24 frames per second, that was the first uh, video clip. And this is the second one, the second rendered output file. And still it is the same, it just has reduced with one MB. It's 337, 377, okay? Now the magic part with the TechSmith software I'm dragging this to the Premiere Pro so you can actually see what is the output size now. Clicking over this 
a video clip taking you to the properties and you can see so this is now changed the resolution is 1080p the frame is increased it's up to 30 i told you it can render up to 30 and 60 only so that's all but the file size has been reduced by the TextMyth video codec software engine so you can see the TextMyth output this is the video quality after rendering process by TextMyth and there is no compromise there is no compromise with the video quality and uh, the Adobe output is this one so it's all up to you whichever you want to upload to the uh, YouTube it's all up to you and uh, if it helped you guys to reduce the file of uh, adobe premiere pro cc then hit like let me know in the comment section below it helped you or not and i will see you guys in the next one so thanks for watching once again and uh, appreciate it with like if it helped you really so thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye